Well, first of all, recognize that what goes on when you're finished with this plane, as you say, is happening now. Because, as you know, all that is, is now, and everything happens in the spacious present. Thus, you can have the experience of moving from life to life in a linear format, even as you can have a physical life experience going from moment to moment. However, this is merely an experience. It is real unto itself, and yet it is not the way reality is structured. For reality is structured in simultaneity, and everything exists here and now, thusly you are beginning and completing your incarnational cycle right now. For remember the time is subject to existence. Existence is not subject to time. Therefore, you can create the idea of moving through a series of incarnations as you move through a series of moments in your physical life. You have and you can have that experience and then within that framework of experience you can find yourself then shifting to a series of incarnations in other civilizations, physical and non-physical, other, as you might say, more advanced civilizations or you have more finesse with which to construct your realities. You might say from this particular vantage point of a series of lives that you would not be allowed into systems, into civilizations that are of a more refined nature than your own until you learn the mastery of energy. Therefore, there are many physical civilizations to choose from, and there are many non-physical organizations of consciousness to choose from. Now, of course, all of this is happening simultaneously, and as you awaken to your non-temporal existence, you will recognize that you can indeed connect to these lifetimes that you have in other civilizations. For they are happening right now. Therefore, right now you have lives in other more advanced civilizations than your own, and you can pull information from these so-called future lives to imbue your civilization with advanced knowledge, advanced sciences, advanced mathematics, advanced arts. You have that ability, for you need not experience the sequence of moments strung out as if beads upon a necklace. You, in fact, are a multidimensional interlocked and interpenetrating and vibrating geometric pattern of light, studying sacred geometry might help to unlock some of the information that pertains to simultaneous time and therefore enabling you to tap into those lives that you might perceive from your vantage point as future lives, for they are all happening now.